Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabbati fillah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and bless you Forgive us and forgive you and guide us and guide you. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. One of the traits of the Munafiqeen, in fact, and it's a trait that we have to warn one another and advise one another, remind one another of, first and foremost, ourselves, then our brothers and sisters in Islam, and that is to practice the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. That means staying away from the munkarat, the sins, the wickedness, those things which deceive you and distract you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen. And to be not of those people who claim piety and those people who do not practice what they call to. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yaladina amanu. O you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? So that's a stern warning. To not be like the sinful, wicked ones who came before us, like the Yahud. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسُكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَطْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ Do you call the people تَأْمُرُونَ نَاسَ بِالْبِرِ Do you call the people to piety and good? وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسُكُمْ And you forget yourselves? وَأَنْتُمْ تَطْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ And you, you know, you read the book, you have the book. That's a stern warning. SubhanAllah, that's an example for us. Although Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking about the Yahud, Likewise, this is, this is relevant for us because we call, try to call to the book. We advise one another to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we advise one another to practice the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu But then we turn around and we do wickedness. We do sinfulness. So this shows us that this is a dangerous trait that the mu'min has to be aware of and be and beware of and beware from and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with a class with the bat to be of those who practice uh, practice what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded to not just be of those who preach but to be of those who implement and practice and do that which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam